Does strength training improve balance? Hi, my name is Jasmine. I'm with Doug Weiss. He's been a physical therapist for 30 years, and I want to ask him a question. Does strength training improve balance? This is a question I get asked a lot, uh, and a lot of the research asks the same question. Um, there's been so many studies looking at all different types of strength training and its effects on balance. They've looked at Pilates, CrossFit, weightlifting, you know, TheraBands, pool exercises. In all of the research, there's not really a significant improvement in balance and in fall prevention from doing strength exercises alone. Where strength training can help uh, is really in two ways. One is strength helps because if your quadriceps and your, and your buttocks muscles aren't strong enough to stop you from falling if something bumps into you, then that's a problem. So if, if you're so weak that if something disturbs your balance, you can't recover your balance, that's a big problem. But it turns out that's a pretty high, high mark. Most people have enough strength to arrest a fall. And so doing more strength training doesn't make them resist falls better. The other type of strength training that really helps is strength training that's more of a balance challenging activity. So like if you do things on one leg that are strength training, not only does that improve your strength, but it also improves your balance. And there's been a number of studies that have shown that things like practicing standing on one leg or walking backwards or stepping over obstacles, not only does that improve your balance, but it also improves the actual muscle strength. So it is possible that strength training can help, but I think it's a misconception to say that someone is falling because they're weak. Generally, people fall because they don't have good strategies for handling those situations. And I think that's how people should look at it. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. So we're going to do something called pillow squats. You want a chair in front of you and a chair behind you with a cushion. You're going to sit down on the cushion. Now, ideally, you want to cross your arms in front of you, bend forward and stand up all the way and then sit back down. Now we've got a timer here for two minutes and if you're feeling good, you can do this the entire two minutes. But if you're feeling like this is too much or too difficult for you, you can rest as often as you want. You can just stay sitting on the chair as much as you want. It's also fine if you're struggling to put your hands on your knees. You can also put your hands on the chair in front of you or push off if you have an armchair, you can push off of the arms of the chair. It really doesn't matter which way you do it. Really what matters more for your strength in your legs is how many repetitions you do. So if you only can do one or two without pushing, I would actually recommend that you push and, and help yourself do more. If you can get up to about 10 or 15 of these the first day, that's great. Now we've got a timer for two minutes. So if you're stronger, you can do it the entire two minutes like this but it's fine if you want to rest a little bit or if you want to put your hands on your knees or the chair to help yourself up. So this works almost all of the muscles in your legs. You know, it works the quadriceps, it works the buttocks muscles, the hip extensors, the hip flexors. It even works your knee muscles. It's a really good overall strengthening exercise. And when you're walking, the way that it helps you with balance is if you start to lose your balance and you've been practicing this exercise, you're more likely to be able to catch yourself and prevent a fall. If your quadriceps and your buttocks muscles are weaker and you start to lose balance, it's possible that you could fall because you're not strong enough to arrest the fall. So it's a good thing to practice. Okay. So we're gonna do single leg stands. You're gonna grab the chair Put all your weight on one leg, lift the other leg off the ground, and then try to stand as long as possible on one leg. Your goal is to do this on each leg for about 20 seconds without grabbing the chair. But a lot of people are gonna be struggling with that. Um, I'm even doing it kind of quickly right now just to show you. You do wanna keep a little bend in the knee that you're standing on. This exercise, is probably the best single balance exercise that ever anyone's ever done. The reason is because your ability to stand on one leg 
directly relates to your ability to resist a fall. If you can't stand on one leg and balance yourself for a few seconds, you're much more at risk for falling because when you walk, that's what you're doing. You're, when walking is a succession of standing on one leg and moving the other leg forward. So if you can't do that, then most likely you're shuffling or you're walking with your feet very wide apart because you're afraid of doing this activity. And what I've learned is that if you practice this enough, you can regain it. Almost every, anybody watching this video at some point in their life were, were able to do this with ease. So by practicing it kind of at any age, you can regain that ability to stand on one leg. Now, you, it's okay to put your finger on here, you know, to try to get the weight shift, but try to let go for as long as you can on each leg. If you need to sit down, you can, but I would try it, do it as many times as you can for the two minutes. And again, if you're struggling, try to lean more towards the leg you're standing on. Try to lean more towards that side. That's usually the biggest problem people have with this is they're not leaning enough. Well, one more. Okay. So we're gonna practice stepping over an object. I'm gonna use a rolled up towel. Put that down in front of me. You can grab your chair and we're just gonna take one big step forward over, turn around facing the chair and do the same thing in the other direction. Now, if you're good and this is an easy exercise for you, you can do it without holding on. We're gonna to try to do it for two minutes and you can do it as many times as you want in two minutes. You can always sit down if you need to. But if you're struggling with this, this is a good time to kind of put one hand or one finger on this chair and just steady yourself as you're stepping over. Practicing this is a great exercise First of all, a lot of times when you're walking, you encounter things in your way. So you're basically practicing something that a lot of people struggle with, which is shifting your weight and stepping over something. But the other thing is when you, put, when you do this, you're putting all your weight on one leg and you're moving the other leg out in front of you, which throws your balance off a little bit. So it's an excellent balance challenge. The third thing is, and this is true for most all of our balance exercises, they work your muscles. And so they really are an excellent way to improve your strength. People don't realize that, that balance exercises can improve their strength, but they do. And I'm also alternating. I'm bringing the right leg forward one time and trying to bring my left leg forward the next time. It is good to, to do it on both sides if you can. And if you have any trouble and you end up stepping on the towel, it shouldn't be too much problem for you to come forward. If you're really good, you can try to use something taller like a book or a box, but I'd be careful about that if you're struggling at all with your balance because it's really easy to get tangled up. And you just want to do as many as you can in two minutes and you're welcome to rest whenever you need to. I hope you found this video helpful. Click the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this.